I can't know. film this without. <laughs> He's so awkward on camera. Like, be nice. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Recently I fed all of my female tarantulas and a lot of you guys enjoyed that video, but some of you guys asked, what about the dudes? The dudes. So, I thought today we could feed all of my male tarantulas. Some of them are mature, some of them are not. <laughs> And just because we are feeding all the males, I thought we could ask my husband to actually feed them for us today. Have you ever fed a tarantula? No. That's a lie. You fed one tarantula. Oh, okay. But you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> today we are going to become a pro, so I thought it would be really fun. Are you scared of tarantulas? No. Okay, well, let's test that theory today, starting now. So I guess we can start with my Afono Pilmet Samani nail first. Okay, so this is a catch cup. If a tarantula runs outside of the enclosure, you wait for it to stop running, and then you put the catch cup on it, okay? Okay. Here are the crickets. So this tarantula is gonna want a large cricket. There's some tweezers. Pick a nice big one. Okay. Yay! Yeah. One down, 10 to go. Okay, so this one is my mature male Gramistola pulchropes. He is the one that we will be breeding with my female Pikachu who was in my other video. So definitely get him a big cricket. You can actually give him another then. Very nice. So far it's going pretty good, I'd say. What do you think? Oh. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Okay, I don't know who this is. Oh, now this is this is one that we might need to catch cup for if it gets spooked. So be careful. Look at that fire butt. It's like a warning. So yeah, find a find a large cricket or two for this guy. He's a Brachypilma vegans, and I also will be breeding him soon, but he is not mature. Very nice. You can go ahead and give him another two. That's always good. Pet a pout full of cricket. I know, two crickets. All right, his water dish is dry. This is a species that does like a full water dish. So we can go ahead and try watering him. <laughs> it's my bath time. <sighs> Funny. Wash your hands before you eat. <laughs> this is going very nicely, I'd say. Okay, so this is Salem. He is probably one of my favorites, one that I've had the longest. So you can go ahead and feed him a large cricket or two large crickets. Okay. Good. Yeah, he's always hungry. And also he could use some water as well. So I, uh, not with him. <laughs> with him, I always use tongue. He is very, very feisty. All right, moving along. Let's feed something a little bit more challenging and a little bit more feisty. This is my Samopeus Reduncus. He is hiding right back here as usual. All right, so uh, he's arboreal and his first instinct is really going to be to run up. So honestly, uh, what I would do is just drop a cricket right down here. Yeah, he's right down there. Oh. All right, did you get it? No, no, no. oh, I see, I see it. There he goes. <laughs> Yay, he got it. Okay, good. Now we are gonna feed a favorite. This is Oscar, AKA the dumpster tarantula. And you can drop him a big cricket. Good boy. You can give him another too. He molted not too long ago, so. Oh, it's still under him. He didn't get it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? 
He is dancing. I love it. So we got five more tarantulas to go. So this is one you actually held before. This is the Afonotone Calcodes male. And I'm sure he will eat, even though he's a mature male, he's always hungry. <laughs> you can give him water too. Let's do a more difficult one. This one will be hard to shoot, but it will probably eat. It's my emerald skeleton. And I see some feet there. So, catch cup ready. Go ahead and drop a large cricket right in the hole. <laughs> yeah, difficult to film, but he's got it. I love this, the way he did this whole enclosure though. It's really nice with the like, goes the all the tunnel. way, yeah, the tunnel, it goes all the way down there. He needs water though, he does like water. And you can actually soak him around a little bit too. You're not supposed to be doing this good. <laughs> Am I supposed to be freaking out about him? I'm not afraid of him. You used to be. Uh, not so much afraid of like the tarantulas. Oh, he might run. It's okay if he does. He, it, you don't need to catch cub him. I'll get him. But he, every time I take the lid off, he always, yeah. Nice. Yeah, he always starts going for walks whenever I take the lid off. This is my Brachypilma Kellenbergi. Standing tall and proud. I know, he's really cool. And you can also give him a little bit of water down there. Right. Looks like we just have two more. We have a pretty crazy one and we have a pretty docile one. So I guess let's do the docile one first. You can do the crazy one first. Nah, let's end with the crazy one. Okay. All right, where are you? In the pot. Ah, get out of the pot. Try to get some white. Okay, so just drop it like right at his feet right there. Mm. You could give him water also, but like I would just pull some of that dirt out. Yeah. Easy peasy. All right. Now this one might go for a run. It gets spooked really easy. This is my Nandu Chromatis and this guy is going to a breeder soon. So. We wanna make sure he is nice and plump and ready to go. Nice. And you can give him another two. Oop, right on the head. Yeah, it's stuck. <laughs> it's all stuck. Look how fluffy he is. He's super fluff. Bits, 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 bits. All right, so I guess that is it. I do have some suspect males, but I did not feed them. I don't know for sure, like, cause I haven't gotten a molt from some of them. So that is all there is today. Not as many males as females. <laughs> oh my God. Too awkward, man. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, link is below, and I will see you guys soon. See ya. Wave. See ya.